Now, with the widespread rise of mobile technology has come this development of an app culture. Mobile phones have become more than just calling devices. Mobile applications have transformed how we all function. The experience of having a fast internet access combined with an extremely smooth user experience on today's smartphones has led to this entire growth and change in our mindset. From apps that provide entertainment, healthcare to doing the simplest of tasks, there's an app literally for everything. And currently mobile apps are reigning in the business world. The pandemic is another reason why every business is now online and has become even stronger. And you know, at a time when everyone was going online, staying offline meant losing out on clients. One business that no one thought would be online was the trucking system. Can you imagine? Black Buck is an app that is digitizing freight and logistics across the entire country. It connects businesses with truck owners and freight operators. It provides shippers and truckers quick and easy availability, transparent pricing, location tagging and trustworthiness. The firm leverages technology to solve critical pain points of truckers and shippers across India at scale. We met Rajesh Yabaji, CEO and founder of Black Buck to talk about the journey of digitizing the trucking community of India. In many ways, India runs on its highways. We may have gone high tech in the 21st century, but goods still need to be physically moved from point A to point B. And that is where trucks come in. Entering an industry that is far cut off from the world of technology was a bold step that Rajesh and his team took. They found a gap when it came to logistics and transportation. Today, the team is working to transform the traditional trucking industry with an app. I think, uh, you know, uh, I would say first thing we got lucky and I think we were like a bunch of people who were right there at the right time in the right place. Right? And at that point in time, like, you know, any procurement of a truck was happy, used to happen to like two to three layers of intermediaries. Whenever you wanted a truck, like, you know, you would not get it and you'll get it at like exorbitant prices. So we did a lot of like rich work within ITC, which essentially was like the seed, you know, for the thoughts and ideas. And that is what we're doing for like now for the entire country. The idea was not only to bridge the gap in the logistics business with the help of technology, but to also make it easier for truckers and shippers to grow their business offline and online. Actually, the truck operator who owns like one to three trucks, right? And ability to transform his life, ability to work at the grassroots with this guy, he being able to appreciate that technology, use it and imbibe in his life, right? That is where the crux of the problem of solving logistics lies, right? Uh, a demography of a, of a user who is like 40, 45 years old, not really has a formal education, is sitting out of a you know small village, right? And then from there, he's trying to run and operate his business, right? Simple, right? If he wants to, let's say, you know, find a load when he does not have, like, he's idling in a particular city, he now wants to, like, find a load and fill his capacity, right? That there is no, not, nowhere else other than, like, offline, calling people, going to brokers, so solving the loads problem, right? Anything and everything which is needed for a trucker to manage his business, Anything which is needed for him to grow his earnings, anything which is needed for him to grow his business is what Blackbuck partners with this truck operator and makes it happen. Targeting an audience that is not well versed in digital technology was a risk, but one they were willing to take. Their main criteria while building the app to keep it simple and to make sure that even the most basic smartphone could run the app without any glitch. We were, uh, when we started this business in 2015, only 40% of truck operators in the country had smartphones. The rest did not, right? Thanks to Geo, thanks to internet penetration, now 100% of them have it, right? So we, our company got built in the era when it was limited data connectivity, limited processing power, right, of the mobile phone, right? And limited know-how or knowledge of the user to operate apps, right? So our technology is like, you know, built to work on probably, you know, the bottom 1% of the smartphones, the entire app size, loading of the pages, the latency it takes, the data network it consumes is all optimized in such a way that in a far flung area like a very interior of the village, this app can work seamlessly, right? This app is built in like six languages, key languages which covers like 98% of the users of the country so that you know, this guy is able to read it. The way the app is, is all like built for the Bharat user who lives in a village, right? And is like trying to, you know, go on this digital bandwagon and improve his business. 
Rajesh and his team knew that the app's user experience had to be top-notch or the users would just not use the app again. They ensure that the load time, tracking information and other features of the app are spot on. So basically, there are, there are two parts. Right? One is the entire creation part, which is the build part of it. right? And the second part is that when you have launched this build, is it working or not? And there is generally a seesaw difference between both because whatever you build, you think that you know it's really working very efficiently, right? Now, so entire entire app is like sort of broken down into more like you know about close to thousand to fifteen hundred key functions which form the eighty percent of the activity, right? Each of these functions, right, is monitored on a second by second basis on their latencies on their success rate. Let's say you know for example you know I am opening the book load page now loads number of loads which load on the app. There are a lot of like algorithms behind it which run, which actually, you know, sort of gets down to the narrowest level saying that if I know that trucker is in Bangalore, he typically travels this route. This is the right load for him, right? So in the background, all these algorithms have to run and this, and then the load has to sh be shown in the app, like that page has to be loaded, right? So we have got an internal SLA that anything which loads, you know, higher than 500 microseconds, which is like half of, more than half of a second is a failure. And we observe this functionality for like all the thousand services in the company that are they working at that kind of a granularity speed, right? And we track that like minute by minute and whenever there's a downtime, everything is RCA'd, right? So that is a, such a very powerful control, like, you know, control center, which we sort of created, which works on to ensure that there is uptime, you know, there is latency management on each of these functionalities. We're at the Devaraj Earth truck terminal in Yashwantpur in Bengaluru. Now trucking, the delivery of goods by trucks, is not an area in which you would think an app or a smartphone would make a big difference. But we find out that they have. The truckers and shippers say they find the Blackbuck app to be useful while running their business. From knowing where a possible shipment is to tracking their trucks. It's very easy. It's like in the market, it's not good. 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 लेकिन पोस्ट इस पर डाउनलोड करने पर बहुत अच्छा है मतलब एक बार जब गाड़ी लग जाती है दूसरी बात क्या हम इसका और काम में आठ दस साल से हूँ मैं कम से कम तो गाड़ी वालों को मैं जानता ही हूँ तो इस ऐप से भी जो मैं नए संबंध बनते हैं तो अब दोबारा फिर फोन करनी उतनी पड़ती खुद ही फोन आते हैं उनके the shippers and truckers do not face any problems while using the app. Rather, they say they are very happy with the application and the way it has made life easier for them. Oh, no, ma'am. It is an Android phone uh, which everyone can use it. Uh, it's a user-friendly app. Uh, so uh, it can be used in every phone. Now, uh, the, it is the future of uh, transportation. No doubt. No doubt. I'll tell you. कभी हैंग नहीं होता फ़ोन गर्म नहीं होता जैसे कि बहुत से ऐप हैं जिनमें दिक्कत होती है इस ऐप से फ़ोन को कोई भी दिक्कत नहीं है और कभी ऐसा भी नहीं है कि कभी रुकावट आ रही है किसी तरीके की जैसे हम पोस्ट लोड करते हैं तो तुरंत सही काम करता है बहुत ही स्पीड से काम करता है टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ट्रकिंग स्मार्ट एप ऑन अ स्मार्ट फोन वेरी डिफरेंट लुकिंग वर्ल्ड टूगेदर विद गोविंद मोती माया शर्मा फॉर एन डी Wow, who would have thought the trucking system would also be online? This is an absolute first for me and what an absolute revolution. Welcome Rajesh, welcome to the show. The target audience is not very savvy with apps or phones. So how important is it to have a processor that supports the app without any glitches? Our company was born in the era when uh, the technology penetration, the smartphone penetration, the internet penetration was probably just beginning to take off in India, right? So at that point in time, most of the smartphones were low spec, internet you know, penetration was pretty like meager. So 40% so of truckers had smartphones at that point in time, right? So one perspective is obviously like, you know, when you're building the entire code, when you're writing the entire code, right? You write it in a way that it can work on low data network coverage, work on low processor based kind of smartphones, right? So that, so that, that is one, right? Second is once you sort of ship the code, right? What is important is that 
continuously you are able to monitor every you know process which is happening in the app on a continuous basis and ensure that it is succeeding there is there are low latencies so i think using these two processes i think you know that the entire blackbird application is sort of independent of whichever smartphone you pick up i think you know even a smartphone is like 25 dollars i think above that the blackbird application would work like very seamlessly and you if you even if you are in a 2g data network coverage the blackbird application will work very seamlessly so you don't really have to worry about you know the data network coverage or the smartphone processing capacity fantastic rajesh thank you so much congratulations once again and snapdragon is calling all you cell guru fans to join their global community called snapdragon insiders this gives you access to the latest scoop on snapdragon tech a chance to connect with the experts behind the scenes premium experiences exclusive contests and much much more look i'm a snapdragon insider and you can become one too by simply following snapdragon on twitter or instagram i'm giving you the handles right here and also you have a chance to win a oneplus smartphone by participating in the nd TV Snapdragon contest at ndtv.com unleash your dreams go there right now